Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can remotely control your computer on a mobile device. So whether or not you're on Android or iOS, almost everything that you can do when you're on your physical computer, you'll be able to do remotely on your mobile device, including gaming. That's right, gaming. And did I mention this is completely free? Yeah, it's free. Before we get into this tutorial, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. So if this kind of content interests you, make sure you stick around so you don't miss any future videos. All right, so to get things started, the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is go to sun.array.com. I left the link in the description below so you can go to it and follow along if you want to in this video. On the main page of the site, you'll find the download button. So you wanna click that and this is where you'll see all the software that you can download depending on the device you have. So that could be Android, iOS, even Mac and PC. Installation on Windows was very straightforward and easy, but if you're using Mac OS, there are quite a few different permissions you're going to need to allow in order for this app to work properly. So I left an additional link in description below with some information on what exactly those settings are. Now that you have the program open on your computer, you're going to need to set up an account if you don't have one already. I'm probably assuming you don't. So go ahead and create an account and then just go ahead and log into Asun Remote on your computer, but also the mobile device that you've installed the Asun application on as well. On your computer, the first thing you'll see when you log in is that you can bind the device to your account, which essentially means you're adding the device to your account so you can remote into it using your mobile device. So go ahead and bind your computer to your RA account just like so. If we go ahead to our respective mobile device and launch the RA remote application. If you're logged in under devices, you should be able to see the computer that you binded to your account. You should see that it's online, so go ahead and select the device and then press the desktop control button under device function. If this is your first time logging in to a Windows computer, you will need to put whichever the username or just the name of your Windows account is along with the password that you use to log in to the computer. Luckily, that's a one-time thing, so after you enter the credentials in once, you're good to go for any other time you're looking to remote into your computer. Now to navigate the desktop using these mobile features, you want to first take a look at that mouse icon that will usually first appear in the top right hand corner. This will allow you to control things on your screen like if you had a mouse connected to it. So you can left click things easily, you can even right click, copy, move files around very easily. This touchscreen mouse is pretty intuitive I have to say. If you want to scroll, you can just use two fingers and scroll down or up, depending on what you're trying to see on a given page. If you need to type, just go ahead and click the text entry section, and then you'll see a keyboard right above those two bracket thingies. Select that, and a keyboard will be brought up where you can type in whatever you need. Some additional settings that you can check out if you select that to bracket icon, you can switch your screen. So let's say you have a monitor connected to your setup and I wanna see what's on that display, I can just select the switch screen button and that'll switch what I'm seeing. There's a video recording option, you can print screen, there's the sound on and off. There's a lot of different features that you may or may not use, but they're there in case you wanna use them. Okay, I mentioned the gaming part in the beginning of this video. Yes, it is completely possible to play a PC game on your mobile device. And here's how. It, it is an extra paid feature though, just for full transparency. But all the other features I showed you in this video are 100% free to use. With your game loaded up and ready to play, if you have this additional feature unlocked, you'll have this extra keyboard above the normal keyboard icon. So if you go ahead and select that, and within here you'll load up the gaming keyboard with a different recommendation that All Ray has put together for you. So League of Legends, FPS, there's a car racing button mapping, and it goes on. I was able to play this Silly Llama game with quite ease, even though for me, the frames weren't all there, but just the fact that you can do this while you're out and about and just remotely play a PC game and play it like a mobile, that's pretty cool. Now something else you can check out if you're using the gaming keyboard is if you select the menu option at the top, this is where you can either switch your layout, you can edit your layout, you can even adjust your settings, so whether or not you want a faster mouse or slower mouse speed, you can adjust all that. And this is also where you can exit the gaming keyboard if you wanna get back to the normal functionalities of this remote application. 
Overall, while running this app, to my surprise, it had very low CPU utilization, three to 4% max, which is just very good and not intrusive. Now there's one more pretty cool feature to show you guys within this free app, and that's being able to mirror your mobile screen to your computer. To screen mirror, you wanna go on your mobile device and select the connect tab. Within here, you'll select the screen mirroring option, which you'll be able to start a broadcast. From there, you can select the scan option, which will open up the camera on your phone so that you can scan the QR code that is in the screen mirroring section on your computer. If for some reason the QR code isn't working, you can always refresh that code by double clicking on the screen mirroring text on your computer to get a new QR code. But after following those steps, you should see a window pop open on your computer with your phone screen responding in real time. Only drawback here is that you won't hear any audio return from the desktop coming from your mobile phone. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Shout out to All Ray for sponsoring this video. This remote application is definitely awesome. It has a ton of very valuable free features to being able to remote into your computer on your mobile device, as well as being able to play games if you wanna go with those extra features, of course. Those of you who stay to the end here, I do have a special code for you, so go check out in the description below or right here as well. Put that code into the rewards link that I have also in the description. So just go there, put the code in, and you'll get seven days free trial of the Game Pro features. Now, if you're like me and you try to avoid paying for subscriptions as much as possible and you want those cool extra added on features, then you can do that by going to the My tab and to Get Discount section. And here you'll see the Sunshine Shop where you can collect different sunshine to redeem free memberships. And all you gotta do is just check into the app daily, click on some ads, very easy, simple things to get some sunshine that you can put towards getting a free pro or even the gaming membership of the All Ray remote application. Who doesn't like free? If you guys came to enjoy the video and it helped you out, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Take care guys, peace.